Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be reviewing the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. This will be sort of a first impressions type of video, but I'll also be sharing my thoughts of, you know, how it performed, I guess, <laughs> throughout the day. I know this mascara has been out for a while and I can't believe I'm just trying it now because I generally do really like Maybelline mascaras. So I have high hopes for this one. So I've seen pictures and like videos of people trying it and they all look really good. But I'm kind of curious, you know, because some people like already have like really nice lashes. So of course when they put a mascara on, it looks really nice. So <laughs> I wanted to make this video for maybe those of us that don't really have like the thickest, longest lashes, um, you know, and just see how it does. So I did purchase this in the color Very Black and I also got the regular like washer formula. I do normally get waterproof mascaras just because they hold the curl pretty well but this is called sky high so maybe I just thought it would like kind of lift my lashes a little bit and maybe I didn't need the waterproof formula so I don't know we'll see. When you first open it you'll notice that the bristles are plastic and the wand is pretty it's pretty flexible. The first thing that I have to do is curl my lashes before putting mascara it is a must. So with the first coat um, and sorry I know this is not like the greatest angle <laughs> my initial thoughts um, was that like it is giving length for sure. However, I don't know if maybe I just had too much product, but my lashes were kind of already starting to stick together. I'm thinking that maybe I should have wiped some of the excess off of the wand, you know, before starting. So that might've been my fault. But um, I mean, as you can see, it gives a really nice length. You know, right off the bat, I could totally see a difference with my lashes. When I did the second eye, I think I didn't have as much product on there. So I felt like it did a little bit better job of like separating the lashes. I mean, in the mascara's defense, just more for, you know, length and volume. I think it definitely, you know, does what it says. With the second coat, I was pretty amazed on how long my lashes looked. I, I was like, wow, I mean, <laughs> they looked really, really long. I will be honest though, it's weird. Like I almost felt like it was borderline, like starting to get like the spidery look. I mean, maybe it doesn't really show up so much on camera, but like when I'm looking at it in person, like super up close, I am kind of seeing it a little bit. Honestly, I don't really mind it too much because I mean, for me, I need the extra volume. <laughs> I guess I was just maybe a little bit more surprised because I normally don't get that with like a brand new mascara. Like that usually happens later on in its life. <laughs> so yeah, I, I think two coats was good enough. Now with my lower lashes, I normally only do one coat. So that's what I did here. It did give a little bit of length. However, I felt it was difficult, at least with the type of wand, I felt like it was difficult um for it to separate the lashes at the same time like i don't have a lot of lower lashes so i can't really be that mad i think it's just because of how my lashes are i was definitely happier with the results of you know my my upper lashes so my initial thoughts on this mascara is that i really liked the the final look of it they looked super long they had volume they were really just like like they were out there, you know? But I think the true test is seeing, you know, how it holds up. So now you're gonna see some updates on how things are going throughout the day with the mascara. So it's probably been about, I don't know, four and a half hours or so. Um, and the lashes still look pretty good. They're still lifted. Um, there's a little bit of smudging going on, like on the lower lash line. And that honestly, that happens with like most mascaras that I use. I'm trying not to like, clean it up or anything just so we can really see how it is throughout the day. Keep in mind, I've been doing some things around the house. I went to the gym, I took a Pilates class. So, I mean, I think considering all that so far, um, I'm, I'm pretty happy. Another little update, about five hours have passed and I've been out and about running errands and I went out to eat and, and the lashes still look pretty good. Um, still no smudging or anything on top but I am noticing a little bit more than earlier. I'm smudging here like on the bottom, um, more so on this side, but again, I just kind of feel like that always happens. No matter what mascara I use, no matter what the price is, I always get like smudging on the bottom, which is why I usually only do one coat anyways, because I feel like the more product I put, just the more raccoon eyes I get. I think today was actually a pretty good day to test it out just because, you know, I was actually out like doing stuff so I could see, you know, how how well it holds up, <laughs> you know, throughout all the activity today. So yeah, I think, 
I think it did pretty good. So I'm back home and I just wanted to give my final thoughts on the Sky High Mascara. And honestly, I really like it. The length that it gives, the volume, the fact that my lashes like stayed, I keep doing this, but like, you know, they stayed up. Um, I, I love that because there are some times where mascaras like, especially in the heat, they will just fall. So the fact that my lashes still stayed like curled, I really appreciate. Um, I know that I talked about like the smudging on the bottom, but honestly it was minimal and not really a big deal. So yeah, I think I'm gonna really enjoy using this mascara. Again, I don't know why it took me so long, <laughs> but yeah, I'm glad I finally tried it. All right, so I guess that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please be sure to subscribe and until next time.